This video is going to talk about word problems and wording in problems. Let's take a look at each of these phrases and decide which operation it makes us think of. So we have the choices between addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So if I see the, the words decreased by, that makes me think of subtraction. If I see the words difference, that's also subtraction. If I see the word divided by, guess what? That sounds a lot like division. If I see increased by, that's going to be addition. Less than is subtraction. Product is multiplication. Sum is addition. Reduced by is subtraction. Divided into is division. Times is multiplication. More than is addition. And twice as many is multiplication. Or you could add the number to itself. It depends on how you look at it. Whoa, a chart. So we're going to translate each of these phrases into an expression, which is the mathematical version of the words. So if I see five more than a number, I'm going to take that number and I'm going to add five to it. Now, why did I put x in there? Because I don't know what the other number is. So I'm going to use a variable to represent that number. Five less than a number. That means I'm going to take that number and to find five less than it, I'm going to subtract five away. Let's say that the number was 20. What is five less than 20? Well, to find five less than 20, you're going to take 20 and subtract five away. Sometimes it helps to throw a number in there so that you're clear on what you're talking about. Five times a number means I'm going to have that number and I want to add that number up five times. The product of a number and five is also going to be multiplication, five times x. And a number reduced by five means I'm going to take that number, x, and subtract five away. Letter F says a number divided by five. So I'm going to take x and divide it by five. I could also write this as x divided by five. If I wanted to do it in long division, I could write it that way as well. That's a five. Letter G says five divided into a number. So I want to see how many times five goes into a number. So that's also going to be x divided by five. H says five divided by a number. That's when I'm going to take five and divide it by whatever x happens to be. A number divided into five means I'm going to take five and see how many times that number goes into it. A number decreased by five means I start with a number and I decrease it by five with subtraction. A number increased by five means I'm going to take that number and I'm going to increase it or add five. The sum of a number and five means I'm going to take the number and add five to it. Five fewer than a number means I'm going to take that number and find five less than it. The product of five and a number means I'm going to be multiplying. And then we have a number multiplied by three, then increased by five. So I want to pay attention here. The first thing it says is a number multiplied by three. That's three times x. Then increased by five means after that, I'm going to add five. I might put parentheses around this, but it's not necessary because PEMDAS tells me to multiply first and then add. The parentheses don't hurt anything, but they're not strictly necessary in this case because PEMDAS already has the directions there. They 
want us to now write an equation for this sentence. Before, we were writing expressions, which is just writing out what it says. The difference between an expression and an equation is that expressions don't have an equal sign. Equations, which literally have the beginning of the word equal, have an equal sign. So 5 times a number is 20. So I'm going to have 5 times whatever number is, and is is an equal sign, 20. 5 fewer than a number is 7. 5 fewer than a number means I take that number and I take 5 less than it, and that is 7. Do I need to space it out this much? Absolutely not. I'm just kind of lining things up at this point so that I can see exactly what I'm working on. Let's take a look at some of these exercises. This is where we're actually going to talk about the word problems. Katie has 10 stickers. She has three fewer stickers than Laura. How many stickers does Laura have? So to figure out how many stickers Laura has, we know that Katie has 10. Good for Katie and her 10 stickers. We know that she has three fewer stickers than Laura. So you're gonna take the number of stickers Laura has and subtract three. That's the same thing as saying the number of stickers that Katie has. So to figure out how many stickers Laura has, you want to add three. I did not leave enough room here. You want to add three to both sides and X is going to equal 13, which means Laura has 13 stickers. Does that make sense? Let's check the word problem. Katie has 10 stickers. She has three fewer stickers than Laura. If Laura has 13, does Katie have three fewer? Absolutely. Good job. Shireen has 12 stickers. She has three times as many stickers as Tyler does. So we want to know how many stickers does Tyler have. So we know that Shireen has 12. And we know that Shireen's 12 is three times as many stickers as Tyler. So 12 and three times Tyler's amount of stickers are the same amounts. How do we figure out how many stickers Tyler has? Well, we undo this, ex this equation. And because we're multiplying three times x, then we divide. So we know that x is four. Does that make sense? Does Shireen having 12 stickers, is that is Tyler's four three times that? Well, we take Tyler's stickers, we multiply it by three to get Shireen's 12. Absolutely, even if I stuttered over the grammar a bit. Melissa has 12 stickers. She has three more stickers than Emmett. So we know that 12 is the same thing as saying three more than what the other person has. So to figure out how many stickers Emmett has, we're going to subtract three from both sides and know that Emmett's amount of stickers is nine. Melissa has 12. She has three more than nine of Emmett's stickers. Looks good. Henry has 12 stickers. He has half as many stickers as Russell does. How many stickers does Russell have? So if Henry has 12 stickers and Russell, I'm sorry, Henry has half as many as Russell. That means we take Russell's amount of stickers and we divide it by two. So let's figure out what that is. In order to undo this division problem, we're going to multiply on both sides. So these are gonna cancel out, just leave me with x. 12 times two is 24. Henry has 12 stickers. He has half as many stickers as Russell's, 12, as Russell's 24. Sounds great. 
So they want us to solve these problems and then, well, it's going to be hard to have a discussion about how they're similar and different, but, you know, we'll keep going. Bailal has ten, 20 stickers. He has five times as many as Omar. So 20 is the same as five times Omar's. Can you figure out how many stickers Omar has? Omar has four stickers because 20 is the same as five times the four. Lily is 20 years old. She is five times older than Jacinta. How old is Jacinta? If Lily is five times as old as Jacinta, we're going to multiply these to figure out how old Jacinta is. You probably found that she is four. Lily is 20 years old. She is five times older than four. Trevor walked 20 kilometers. He walked five times further than Rebecca. How far did Rebecca walk? Well, if Trevor walked five times further than what Rebecca walked, in order to figure out how far Rebecca walked, you want to divide each side by five. And you probably found that x equals four. Did you notice that each of these problems had the same solution even though they were different situations? That's okay. You just have to pay attention to the wording and make sure that you are checking each time. Let's get some extra practice in here. Samuel runs 600 meters each day. He runs three laps each day. How long is each lap? Well, what we know is that Samuel runs 600 meters. That's three laps of I don't know how many meters. So that's three times something. Let's divide to figure out how many meters that is. 600 divided by three is 200. Each lap is 200 meters. Gabe runs 800 meters each day. He runs 40 more meters than Ahmed. How far does Ahmed run? Well, if he runs 40 more meters, that means we're going to, well, technically, we're going to take the number of meters that Ahmed runs, and we're going to add 40 to it. So to figure out how far Ahmed runs, you want to subtract the 40 from both sides to get 760 meters. That's still a lot of meters. Oh, Jane has three dollars in coins, all dimes and quarters. What fun! She has 21 coins in all. How many of each coin does she have? The first thing that they want us to do is to write an expression for the number of dimes. So here's what we know. What we know is that to figure out the number of dimes, that's going to be 10 times something. Why is it 10 times something to show the number of dimes? Well, because each dime is worth 10 cents. They want us to write an expression for the value of the quarters in cents. Well, that's going to be 25 times y. Why 25? Because each quarter is worth 25 cents. Why the letter Y instead of X? Well, this is all going to be in one problem. So we can't have X being dimes and quarters. It needs to be together. So they want to write an expression for the value of dimes in cents. The value of dimes in cents would end up being 10x. The expression for the number of dimes has to do with how much each dime is worth. 
And that's as far as we're going to go into that problem today. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.